can keep our food safe, avoid disease By practicing these five effective keys One, wash your hands for every meal With soap, that's the real deal It's fun Yeah boy Be safe Two, separate raw foods from the rest Three. Use clean water, that's the best It's fun Be safe Four, cook all food thoroughly Five, and store them at temperatures that ensure safety Cannot see me in the micro with the naked eye. So food safety is the choice for you and I. It's fun, yeah, boy. Be safe. All you hear that? Be safe, 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 safe. Good evening. In with today's edition of Health Matters, I am your host, Shevani Nisbet, Health Educator at the Health Promotion Unit. World Health Day is a Global Health Awareness Day held on April 7th every year, sponsored by the World Health Organization, WHO, as well as to mark their foundation in 1948. According to WHO Director General Dr. Margaret Chan, as a result of food production being industrialized and globalized, these changes introduced multiple new ways for food to become contaminated with harmful bacteria, viruses, parasites, or chemicals. A local food safety problem can rapidly become in an international emergency. Therefore, as a region, we are trying to lower the chances of food becoming contaminated and we are trying to push food safety. So as a result, we at the Health Promotion Unit, in collaboration with the Environmental Department, have decided to show you different ways for food safety from farm to plate by showing you these short clips you'll be seeing right now. Good evening, this is Health Matters and I am Nadine Carty Keynes, your temp Health Matter pre presenter today, filling in for Ms. Chevenny Nisbet, your regular health educator. I'm here today with Mr. Anthony Webb, the Principal Environmental Health Officer at the Department of Environmental Health, Ministry of Health Nevis. Welcome Mr. Webb to Health Matters. Thank you Nadine. We are going up towards World Health Day and our focus this year is on the five keys to food safety. We have to be mindful of the fact that it is necessary to adhere to these five keys for food safety. I'll, 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 I'll just give you an idea as to what these keys are. The first one is the washing of hands, which is very, very critical. Because we use our hands to do everything. And every time our hands become soiled, we need to wash our hands. Second key is that we have to ensure that we separate raw foods from cooked foods, taking into consideration that we get our, our foods from different sources, be the land or from animals, and these come along with them uh, microorganisms, all right? So we have to prevent cross-contamination by ensuring that we do not mix our cooked foods or prepared foods which would have gone through the process of rather, already, rather, whether by heat or by cold with the raw foods that still has a number of um, microorganisms on them, all right? Our third key is the use of clean water. We have to use water that is, that is regarded as being potable, water that we are going to use for drinking. It is very, very important. You cannot have clean hands by using water that is not potable or is not clean, all right? The fourth key, cooking of foods thoroughly. Certain foods must be cooked at certain temperatures so as to get rid of those organisms that, that, may, that might be present, I mean, on, 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 those, on those foods, okay? And our fifth, fifth um, key is storage, storing, uh, storing those foods at the correct temperatures. If foods are to be kept cold, they must be stored at the, the correct cold temperature. If they are to be kept hot, they must be at the, at the um, temperature where, where, where foods are to be kept hot. We'll move around a bit um, at these booths here at the, at the agricultural festival or agricultural fair and try and talk with some of the, some of the, um, the food, food handlers or uh, persons who are preparing and selling food, all right? So as to get their views as to what they think about these, these keys and how much are they doing to ensure that they 
prepare their food and serve their food um, um, safely. This year, World Health Day is on the 7th of April, and the theme for this year is Farm to Plate, going from the farm to the plate. Hence why today we took this opportunity to incorporate environmental health and food safety in the agriculture um, fair today. So today we'll take a look at some of the practices that persons who are engaged in the food industry do to ensure that the food they serve is top quality. And Mr. Webb will be able to show persons the different methods that they need to use to ensure food safety and also go around to different booths to see what the other um, sellers do in terms of ensuring that we have a healthy product. So food safety is the choice for you and I. Ms. Stapleton, could you tell us why is it important that um, food handlers should wash hands regularly as part of their preparation and, serv and, 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 and service? The main reason is to prevent cross-infection and food contamination. Because if you do not wash your hands at intervals, the bacteria will tra travel and your customers and your food will not be clean. So then the customers will become sick. And if a customer becomes sick, your business gets sick too because they would not come back to buy from you and furthermore they would spread it to their friends and relatives so then you lose business altogether. Well said, well said Ms. Stapleton. Now we are quite aware that we use our hands to do everything and we need to, our hands carry germs or microorganisms on them and each time we use, use those hands um, together germs or, or microorganisms on them and it means that we'll have to wash our hands every time um, we, we get soil. I want to thank you for your time as you move on. Miss yeah, Hill, I want to ask you a very simple question. Um, why is it necessary that food handlers, those persons involved in cooking and serving should have their hair covered? Well, first of all, it's best to um, cover your whole body, as, as in um, hair, could fly going to food. Also, um, you've got loose hair falling, so it's best to make sure that everything is covered and neatly. So you want to ensure that your customer do not, do not is not served rice and chicken and vegetables and hair. Yeah. All right, very, very, very critical. How do you um, look at certain things like the same, same serving spoon? No, that, Using the same that, serving spoon for all the different dishes? No, that's, How do you that's, look at that? That is, that is disrespectful. Each, so each um, dish should have its own spoon. Right. There's water available. You could always have your water. So no airborne moving from one product to the next. That's very dangerous, especially in the warm weather as well. Very well. It is important that yeah. we do not promote um, cross-contamination, yeah. taking organisms from one, one food into, yeah. into the next. Why do you think it's important for food handlers to always be washing their hands? Well, same again, right? For hygiene reasons, because you could put your food into, um, say for instance, onion, you transfer it to an apple, cross-contamination is not good. Too much acid um, in the products and... The focus for World Foods Day is on from farm to the table. Uh -huh. You know we get lots of our foods from different sources. Yeah. Alright, our raw material and so on that we, that we process and convert into the finished product. For the, for, the, for, the, for the table or for the consumer. So why, why, would, you, why would you say that um, it's important that the preparation starts from the, from the farm to the table? Well, sometimes right, it starts from the farm 
and when it gets to your end, it's very important to do the best that you could do to protect the food for your customers. Because if you don't, it's a big consequences. Right. And so. we, know, we also need to, to um, let the public know that our fruits and our vegetables and so on, we we want to wash them properly Probably, yeah. before <laughs> they, 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 they are peeled, and before do, they yeah. are served and stuff yeah. like that. And, you, and use the correct um, tools to get the job done. Right. And you see, as I mentioned earlier, um, all raw products come from different sources. Yeah. So we have to start the, 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 the process of, of ensuring the good agricultural practice, practices, for example, mm -hmm. are adhered to. And when it gets to the, to the, the, um, the, the person who's going to prepare the food, it is important also that they, they also apply the good um, food handling practices to yeah. ensure that that food is, is, is safe. Okay, yeah. Because the bottom line is that we do not want to get anybody, anybody to get sick. Sick? No, All you right? don't. No. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Well, thank you. All right. Yeah. So we are here with Chef Mikey Henville. He's about to do uh, a food demonstration um, at the agricultural fair. I'll just ask him uh, what are some of the, 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 the practices that he needs to adhere to in terms of ensuring that the food that he prepares here is safe, is safe for the consumer. Mikey? Thank you, Mr. Webb. Um, yes, today I'm, I'm going to be demonstrating a healthy vegetarian wrap. And um, specifically for this meal, um, you know, like Mr. Webb teaches us in, in those uh, health, uh, food, food handlers classes, of course, always, most importantly, keep food separately, keep raw from cooked. Um, in this preparation, I didn't have any raw foods, but um, of course, I kept everything separate that I needed, um, kept things at proper temperature. Everything, is, everything here is, is, um, is kept cold. Um, there's no, no heating up or anything like that that I need to worry about for this uh, preparation here. Uh, what we have is some sautéed vegetables, a uh, mixture of onions and peppers, uh, cabbage, broccoli, carrots, um, seasonings, different herbs, thyme, scallions, all mixed in together. And in this um, bowl here, there's um, a mixture of cooked lentils and cristofine and cilantro in this mixture. And that's what I'm going to use in this preparation for the mayonnaise. So that's what makes it more healthy. Instead of having the, the fatty mayonnaise, we're using a, a vegetable-based spread um, for this application. Um, and that's about it. We're just using uh, all local ingredients, keeping it healthy, keeping it fresh, and most of all, you know, uh, healthy. Low in fat, low in calories, but high in fiber, vitamins, minerals, etc. Thank you, Mikey. Um, I think you'd want to impress on, the, on, your, on your viewers um, the importance of hand washing. Because we use our hands to do everything. Could you say a little bit about that? Absolutely. It's very, very important. Uh, always use soap, hand soap, and hot water as hot as you can stand it. Um, and definitely rub your hands together very uh, vigorously. If you want, you could sing the happy birthday song or you could count to 30. All when all you know during that time, your hands are being um, uh, washed together vigorously with soap, um, hot hot water and soap. Um, and if you, in some instances, you know that you may come upon, if you if after you wash your hands and then you have to say touch raw meats or fish or chicken, if you if you if available, use gloves, okay. And also be wary of your your work surroundings. Make sure you're not you know spilling blood or um, you know, beef blood, chicken blood, things like that, all over your, all over the area, especially even your clothes, because you can contaminate uh, other other things like that just from things getting onto your clothes. So you have to keep all those things in mind. All right. Thank you, Mikey. I won't take any more of your time because I see your your viewers uh, are here, ready to to see how to make this um, this this new uh, what do you call it? Vegetable wrap. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. In keeping with the theme for World Health Day, which is on April 7th, we have with us Mrs. Maureen Stapleton from Stapleton Products, and she's going to demonstrate how you clean your vegetables properly before you cook them. So the theme again for World Health Day is going from farm to plate. So 
your vegetables come out the farm, how you, how you um, clean them properly to take them to the plate. Thanks, Mrs. Keynes. I am representing Stapleton's products. I do drinks. We have here for our vegetables, we have carrot. It's not only just used as a vegetable, but we make it as drink. I have and cookies and whatever else you would like to make with it. We have cucumber and the sweet potato. We must clean our vegetables. But even though they wash them before they come to market, you still have to wash them again and clean them up before you prepare your loaf. So I'm going to show you how to prepare your Now we have running water. And we need a brush. Water is running and we are going to be scrubbing. We have to ensure that every bit, every ounce of soil gets off because all kinds of things is in the soil, right? So here I am trying to clean it up. This looks quite clean now, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, okay. Now, once you've cleaned it, you have to dry it. So food safety is the choice for you and I. It's fun. Yeah, boy. Be safe. All you hear that? Be safe, 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 safe. And remember that the surface you are putting it on must be clean as well. So you notice I have a paper here, but in your kitchen you have a chopping board, so you put it on there. Oh yes, see? You can see all the soil that's coming off of the potato. And remember, it's from the, from the farm to the plate. And so, this is a good size to bake, all right? And once you've cleaned up your potato, then you can put it straight in the oven and eat the skin as well, because it's cleaned before. All right, and then the only thing left, the only thing left is the, the cucumber, right? Okay, so we realize, oh, so we realize that we have prepared prior to cooking. Don't get fooled and say, oh, the, the, the vendor did it before, right? Your eyes are your market. So sometimes they do a little thing, but you have to finish the product. Now look at it. Look at them. We have, as it came from the market, from the farm, and this is when it went into the kitchen and prepared before cooking. So it tells you a lot. So food safety is the choice for you and I. It's fun. Yeah, boy. Be safe. All you hear that? Be safe, 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 safe. Just want to say thanks to um, Chef Maureen Stapleton for so readily, readily accepting our invitation to do a little food washing um, and vegetable wash, uh, washing here in our, in our demonstration. I'm sure we're quite aware that our foods come from different sources that I, I, would have I would have mentioned before. And if you notice, by scrubbing the vegetables, we're able to get, a, get rid of a lot of the, the dirt and so on, and some of the microorganisms from, from, from um, the, the potato that was, that was um, on, 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 on display. I want to thank our viewers. Hope that we were able to learn something from our little exercise, exercise this afternoon. And always remember the five keys to food safety. First one being the washing of hands. Second, the separation of foods. Thirdly, you have, to, you have to take into consideration that you need to ensure that you use clean water. Fourthly, cooking our foods thoroughly. And lastly, we have to store our foods properly.
Thank you. And that has been this week's edition of Health Matters. I hope you enjoyed and you learned a lot from our health educators as well as our environmental specialists. Please tune in to Vaughn Radio from 6 to 7 this week, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, where we will be on the playground asking questions and you can call in and give your answers to win various prizes. The prices range from dinner for two at Sunshine's, a lunch for two at Revere House, and a lunch for two at Lime Beach Bar. We will also be giving away digital top-ups. So call in, answer your questions. You can also get these answers by going on our Facebook page, Health Promotion Unit, as well as on the WHO website, and also by watching Health Matters on NTV. That has been this week's edition. Thank you for watching. I am your host, Shevan Elizabeth, health educator at the Health Promotion Unit. The fruit of the week is banana. Banana is full of potassium, so try and eat one banana every day this week. We can keep our food safe, avoid disease, by practicing these five effective keys. We can keep our food safe, avoid disease, by practicing these five effective keys. One, wash your hands for every meal with soap, that's the real deal. It's fun. Yeah, boy. Two, separate raw foods from the rest. Three. Use clean water, that's the best. It's fun. Be safe. Four, cook all food thoroughly. Five, and store them at temperatures that ensure safety. You cannot see me in the micro with the naked eye. So food safety is the choice for you and I. It's fun. Yeah, boy. Be safe. All you hear that? Be safe, safe.